Algebra 1, Test Review, Part 3. We might use a calculator on this one, but let's just see how much we can do by looking at the equation. f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. Can we factor this? Don't know. Let's have a look. Well, what will we be with what do we begin? Negative x squared means we have to have a negative x and a positive x. To multiply to plus 3, we must have either both positive or both negative. I don't know which is which, so I'm going to try both positive negative x plus 3 plus x plus 1. 1x minus 3x would be minus 2x. This could be it. Let's see. Negative x times x is negative x squared plus 1x minus 3x is minus 2x and 1 times 3 is 3. So we have our factors. Is this a maximum or a minimum? Has to be a maximum. How do I know? Because this is this coefficient is negative 1. What are the roots or the zeros? Well, if I set this function equal to 0, then either negative x plus 1 equals 0. If negative x plus 1 equals 0, negative 1 plus 1 equals 0, negative of negative 1 would be a positive 1. I am so easily confused. Let me do it this way. Negative x plus 1 equals 0. I add x to both sides. 1 is equal to x. So 1 root is going to be 1. The other root is going to be negative 3 because negative 3 plus 3 equals 0. If this guy is 0, this guy can be anything it wants to be. There are my roots. They're the same thing as my zeros. We know it's a maximum. What is between negative 3 and positive 1? Negative 3, positive 1. The distance, the halfway point would be 2. So if this is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, my vertex is going to be negative 1. And negative 1 squared is positive 1. That would give me negative 1. plus 2 is plus 1, plus 3. I think that's going to be a 4, but I'm not sure. I will check that again in a minute. My vertex will also be negative 1, 4, I think. Find the value of f of x when x equals negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. But I need the opposite of that. So I have negative 4 plus 4. That's 0. So I think this should be 3. Now, when x equals 4, this should be negative 16. Minus 8 is negative 24. Plus 3, negative 21.
Find the domain and range. Find the domain and the range. Well, the domain is all real numbers because my graph goes forever. What's my range? Well, range is all possible values of y less than or equal to the vertex. So let's see whether I was right. Turn it on. Y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. There's my graph. Second table. If x is negative 1, 0 is negative 3. Good, we got that right. When x is negative 2, when x is negative 2, y is 3. When x is negative 1, it is 4. When x is 0, y is 3. When it's 1, we have a 0. Good. When it's 2, negative 5. And when it's 3, negative 12. Find the value of x when the value of the function is 4. Easy peasy. We already have that. When the function is equal to 4, x is equal to negative 1.